right, everybody. So, uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, as you guys may know, we're uh, sort of simultaneously broadcasting on GoToWebinar right now. Um, so we're all mic'd up here. And the reason we're mic'd up is because there are people, as you probably saw on the other end of this, uh, who are listening in. So that's why, um, that's why we're all mic'd up here. And for all of you who are tuned in online, um, hi from, uh, from uh, 1871 uh, in the Merchandise Mart here in Chicago. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. As we always say, so hey everyone, welcome to ARE Live. Uh, I'm Mark Tier, the founder of Black Spectacles. Um, today I'm with Mike Newman. That's me. Um, and uh, I have uh, three special guests with me today. Uh, we're going to discuss this, the three strategies uh, that you need to consider uh, before you take your ARE. Um, so as I just mentioned, in addition to our live online broadcast, this is really, you know, since the beginning, um, uh, back in 2014 when we started ARE Live, this is really um, one of the first times uh, that we've done one of these sessions live and in person. So we're here, as I mentioned, here at 1871 um, in the Merchandise Mart. Uh, uh, should I make them all cheer and so that yeah. everybody knows there's really people on the other hey. end? <laughs> well, you can hear, there's really people here, I promise. Um, there's, I don't know, there's 40 or 50 of us here. Um, uh, we're really lucky we partnered with AIA Illinois, AIA Chicago and their Young Architects Forum. Um, we're especially happy to have <laughs> partnered with Chicago's very own Revolution Brewery. Um, and of course, uh, 1871, um, to gather three different aspiring architects who've committed to one of the three different exam paths. Um, and our idea here is that they're here to debate very ver ferociously, viciously, <laughs> viciously, <laughs> uh, viciously um, the merits of those three paths. Um, as I mentioned, I'm sitting here with Mike Newman. Um, if you don't know Mike, he's an adjunct professor at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. Um, he's also um, a founder of Shed, Shed Studio, and he's the instructor uh, for Black Spectacles Online ARE prep curriculum, which if you haven't already checked that out, um, you can head over to blackspectacles.com to check out any of the free tutorials from those courses. Um, as I mentioned, we have three special guests uh, with us um, in the ring tonight. Um, <laughs> Um, our first special guest is Laura Crane from BKL Architecture. <clears throat> Laura has recently finished her AREs, um, and she's gonna. She took them all in ARE 4.0, since she, obviously since she recently finished them. ARE 5.0 is not quite out yet, um, so she's gonna take the. She's gonna sort of take the position of um, anyone who uh, does anything other than ARE 4.0 is. Um, is nuts, I think. Crazy. Um, that's what she's going to do. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, a little bit about her. She's currently the youngest associate at BKL um, Architecture um, and has a focus on mixed-use towers. She's worked on several of BKL Chicago-based projects as well as international mixed-use projects. Um, her interest in shaping the immediate uh, context and community has also led her to become highly active um, in professional organizations. Outside of the office, she's very involved in the surrounding architecture community and serves as the Associate Director of the American Institute of Architects Chicago Board of Directors. Um, she's also co-chairs the AI Chicago Young Architects Forum and helps to organize uh, and host bi-monthly networking and educational events for students and young architects in Chicago. Um, and uh, she recently earned a Bachelor of Science degree in interior design at Florida State University and her Master's of Architecture at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. So welcome, Laura. Thank you. Um, second with us here is um, Sarah Hitchcock from Gensler. <clears throat> She's going to be taking the, uh, the position uh, of taking the transition, what we're calling the five exam plan, right? Where you can do three exams in ARE 4.0 and two exams in ARE 5.0. So that's the five exam plan. Of course, she'll be arguing that anyone who doesn't do that is, you know, is nuts, right? Um, a little bit about her. She was born in Hawaii, raised in South Dakota. Uh, attended the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, where she received a Bachelor's of Science in Interior Design and a Master's in Architecture. Uh, Post-graduation, Sarah began working um, at Gensler after a summer internship in Chicago exposed her to the vast range of project types and, uh, and work Gensler has to offer. Uh, one of my alma maters, so mm -hmm. kudos to Gensler. Uh, she utilized her background in interior design and architecture uh, to approach projects of all different scales and sizes her two years at Gensler, she's been able to fuel her interest in uh, multidisciplinary design by working on projects of diverse scales. Um, recent examples include a two million square foot repositioning of the Milwaukee Post Office building, 
um, and a confidential super tall tower repositioning in Chicago. And when she isn't uh, chipping away at her IDP hours in the office or studying for exams, uh, she enjoys sitting in critique panels at IIT and testing the capacity of her studio apartment with dinner parties um, and does her best to get outside often. So welcome, Sarah. Um, finally, Greg Christo from Stantec. Um, he's going to be taking the position of only ARE 5.0. Anyone who doesn't do anything different, who does something different than that, is an idiot, right? That's that's basically your that's position right. at this point. <laughs> um, Greg's an architectural designer and photographer, uh, working at Stantec with a master's of architecture from the University of Wisconsin Milwaukee, and a bachelor of science in architecture for uh, architecture from the University of Illinois. Chicago's been a guest studio crit, uh, critic at the Illinois Institute of Technology in Chicago. Um, some of his photography is gonna, can be found on Arc Daily, uh, Clog, and Digital Design Exercises for Architecture Students. So, um, so welcome, Craig. Thank you. Uh, before we start today, as we always say in all of our ARE Live webinars, we have a special Black Spectacles uh, promo code to share. Um, so make sure you stick around uh, until the end. Um, we also um, have a special presentation um, on behalf of AIA Illinois, for those of you folks who will be staying here. Um, there'll be beer and, um, and snacks afterwards, so, so make sure you stick around. Um, and then during the session, of course, we'll be taking questions from the audience here live, also uh, using the GoToWebinar <laughs> question box. So um, for those of you who are tuned in on GoToWebinar, we will not forget you, I promise. Um, and also, if you're on Twitter, you can use the ARE Live podcast hashtag, and we'll take your questions with that. <coughs> so that's our introduction. Um, Andrew, we're going to go ahead and go to the next slide here um, to get ourselves started. And um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, pass it over to Mr. Mike Newman with question number one. Okay, so question number one. Um, it feels this, the way this is set up feels a little like the dating game, but <laughs> I try to ignore that. Um, uh, question number one is just a simple one. Just uh, We just heard introductions about you, but just to give everybody a little bit of a flavor of who you are, uh, is there anything else you want to tell us about, like, how would you describe yourself as an architect? Like, what... what uh, well, let's, let's go with that. How would you describe yourself as an architect? Well, I mean, Sarah, we'll start with you. Oh, wow. That's a heavy question. Yeah. <laughs> um, We're all about the heavy questions here. <laughs> you know, um, I would say that I'm mean, like any other young architect. I'm really trying to absorb as much as I can right now. Um, and that's what my first few years in the workforce have been like, is trying to get my hands on as many projects as possible and learning about um, all aspects of different projects. And I think Gensler has been a really great place to do that because there's so many different project types and I've really enjoyed that. There's a huge uh, range of scales of projects Absolutely. and just lots of different types of projects. Exactly. Uh, commercial and residential and all kinds of stuff. Yep. Um, yeah, for me, I mean, I'm at the you know, five year mark, so I've experienced some different uh, types of work, <laughs> retail, commercial, and some workplace. Um, but um, just trying to get my hands on as many projects as I can, I mean, I would echo that 100%, because um, at this point, can't solely dedicate my path to one specific uh, type of project, so um, as you know, try to absorb as much as I can. And Laura, why don't you give us a little rundown of, uh, let's see, so far you're trying to take over the world from what I can tell you, listening <laughs> to Mark's introduction. Uh, maybe you could explain a little bit about that. Oh, yeah, that's plan A. Uh, <laughs> No, I, if I find out what I like, I, I really drive towards that. So um, I, I dabbled in high-end residential uh, when I was interning in school and realized that was not what I wanted. Um, it wasn't um, complex enough. I really like complex puzzles, putting things together. So my focus in my forte is um, large towers, mixed use, um, I really love where everything comes together in the podium and figuring out those things. Um, and I also have a forte for exterior wall assemblies and putting together um, construction document packages for um, that aspect of the project as well. Cool. So that I mean, BKL is a perfect uh, spot for you for those because that's really the what's going on there. Right. We have a lot of mixed use projects. It's kind of our forte is larger developments. Um, we do have. Um, other, other types of projects, inc including education, that I've, I've also been able to be exposed to and experience. But yeah, I, I, found, I found my forte, and, and so far, that's the direction I've been going. 